It has been about a month since the fall 2009 semester started, but there have been many issues of a residence life that students aren't happy about. One of them was last year's online registration. Um, our application for a six-person apartment didn't go through, yeah. and we had no way to know. We didn't find out until um, the day of housing selection. We, we pretty much threatened to go to the dean with this, and that's when we really started seeing results because nobody wants to, nobody wants yeah. to go to that higher, higher up in the world. I mean, but it takes that problems. kind of motivation for them, you know, to do anything for us. It's yeah. like, I feel like most of them just don't care. ResLife has worked to sort out housing issues, but they have an even bigger problem, overcrowding. This is about the fourth year in a row we've had this situation, so it's not unusual. It's actually, it's not just uh, here at Purchase, nor even SUNY-wide, it's nationally. Demographically, we're at kind of a, the top of the bubble. Remember, we have approximately 4,000 full-time students. Out of that, 2,600, which is roughly 60%, uh, live on campus. So if we had a little bit more housing, I'd say maybe another 100 beds, we probably could have satisfied all the need. With so many students applying for housing, they had to keep many on the waiting list. Classes were going to start and I was just freaking out because I didn't have a place to live or, or anything with me. So I just essentially had a bag full of some clothes and luckily I had a bunch of friends on campus uh, that allowed me to sort of squat in their rooms so I was able to, you know, catch my classes. Um, but I, I mean, I wasn't, you know, I was, I definitely, we, we, we said, I wasn't offered any kind of alternative. Uh, uh, I was just kind of, it was kind of like, well, I guess you're going to have to commute. But not everybody has suffered from the insufficient housing. Venturing far up into the unknown Campus Center North finds what ResLife calls guest housing. And this year, they have been given to freshman students. Unlike all other freshman dorms, the rooms are given positive reviews. It's actually much nicer, personally, than um, the dorms. And I think most people who've come here like to visit me in my, my dorm have agreed. I mean, um, it's it's nice because it's a, it's a quiet area compared to like a big dorm space and the hall and the rooms are air conditioned so um, it's a lot nicer that way and we have our own bathroom for just a double so that's really nice too. The one problem is that they are only temporary. So they said like oh we're just going to be here for the semester and then in the spring we're going to move you and we're going to be getting like new roommates and stuff and probably end up being in triples so Sounds kind of like a pain. Another temporary solution is housing at the AKA Westchester in White Plains. Students are charged for an apartment double, and the difference is paid out of pocket by the school. Students who live there had mixed feelings. Commute was the worst part of it, really. Everything else was really nice about it. The commute was a bit of a pain. But in an effort to make the hotel students feel more at purchase, it seems construction workers decided to work outside the hotel as well. Just about all of the major problems have been solved, and most of the hotel residents have moved on to campus. Residence Life says that all housing problems should be solved before next semester. Hopefully, Res Life won't have to find drastic ways to meet that goal. Wait, wait, wait! It's my turn to take a shower. I'm Kyle Parker, with Andrew Fromali, for The Brick.